Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, doing the EC38 look out for the UK and for the uh, rest of Europe as well for today's second video. So this is your extended European outlook, and I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, a video today was our 6am UK weather forecast, and we've got 10 to 14 down with all our reg features coming up for you later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos. And we thank you so much, everybody, um, for doing that. Right, OK, let's start off with the situation across Europe for uh, this week. Week that we're currently in, week one, taking us from the 3rd through to the 10th of July. So the coming week, we'll have low pressure across northern and also western parts of Europe. High pressure will be over on the eastern side of Europe uh, this week and down into the eastern portion of the Mediterranean. Some low pressure around the Black Sea. Um, and so we're going to be looking rather unsettled in the north and the west of Europe as well. And quite cool, I think, with the warmest temperatures potentially going up the eastern side. We'll have a look at temperatures in a moment. 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic, a North Pole view down, shown again, but we have the below average heights across the North and the West of Europe there in the uh, week that we're currently in, with the above average heights through Southern and also some Eastern parts of Europe. So this is how the temperature anomaly is shaping up this week, cooler than average across Scandinavia, there has been a big cool down there across Scandinavia and also into the uh, Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and also uh, Lithuania as well. Temperatures going a little bit below average. UK and Ireland are also rather cool in the week ahead, although there is going to be some hot weather just to the south and east of the UK. So eastern parts of France looking quite hot, which are below countries for Belgium, Holland, Netherlands and into Germany and on into Poland as well coming out with uh, warmer than average temperatures through there. Eastern Europe, far eastern parts of Europe, from the Black Sea uh, towards the uh, west of Russia, hotter than average through there, although the Balkans looking quite cool again, as does much of Italy. A mix of warmer and cooler conditions through Greece and Turkey. And then in the central western part of the Mediterranean there, it looks quite warm or hot, really, from Spain, Portugal, into the central part of Med, onto Corsica, Sardinia, and especially again through North Africa, we see significantly hotter than average temperatures of around 3 to 6 degrees above normal in some places. Precipitation uh, this week is a bit of a mixed bag as well. So large parts of northeast Europe look wetter than average, especially Finland and again down into Baltic Sea states. Some parts of uh, Norway and Sweden also rather above average temperatures, both northern parts of, uh, uh, some parts of uh, Norway and Sweden, I should say, driving average, so some parts of northern uh, Sweden and Norway are, uh, are driving average. Let's do all of that again. So, <laughs> let's start off once more. Wetter than average in the far uh, northeast uh, through Finland and down into the Baltic Sea states. Coming into Scandinavia, we find southern parts of Norway and Sweden wetter than normal, northern parts of Sweden and Norway drier than normal. Right, get it right, Gav. Uh, then moving southwards, we can see that it's largely driving average from Germany over towards the western part of the Ukraine, although uh, many parts of Ukraine actually look better than normal, so lots of variation going on here, with, even within individual countries, to be honest. And then back into the west of Europe, we find that Ireland and the UK are uh, average or wetter than normal in uh, many areas, especially out to the north and the west. The Black Sea, looking west and average down towards Turkey too, although large portions of the Mediterranean drive an average, but there is a bit of variation there. Northeast of Spain, a little bit wetter, but much of Spain, Portugal drive an average, and many, many, many central parts of the bed are drive an average too. You know where you live, you know which country you're in, so you can see whether you're dry or wet in the week uh, that we're in. Okay, week two will be the attempt to the 17th of July. Let's have a look at this one with more low pressure from the Atlantic into the west of Europe, higher pressure again over on the eastern side of Europe and down in some southern parts of Europe as well. Looks quite unsettled for western parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly still showing a trough of low pressure, particularly centred around the UK and either out into the Atlantic. However, many parts of Europe next week going under high pressure again or above average heights. Temperature anomalies next week are still getting a little bit cool in the far, cool side of the far west of Europe. So, uh, Portugal, Ireland, France, and into the UK, average or slightly cooler than average through those areas. Anywhere further south and east of that looks hotter than normal. So, southern parts of Spain 
and Portugal coming out are hot, as does most parts of the central bowl of the Med from the Valley Arachides to Italy. Um, and hot and average as well as we go northwards in towards uh, Germany and also Poland. Temperature anomaly is there, 3 to 6 degrees above average. That carries on up to Scandinavia as well, where once more we see those temperatures significantly above average. So warming back up again next week across Scandinavia. The far eastern part of Europe from the Black Sea, southwest of Russia, coming out a little bit of a cooler than average side. And also down in towards parts of Greece and Turkey, temperatures could be struggling a little bit better, but it will still be very warm. Precipitation-wise, it's wet next week in the north of the west of Europe again. So uh, once more, we've got uh, Ireland, the UK, northern and west parts of France, into the Low Countries, northern and western Germany, and then up to Scandinavia, particularly Denmark, and also southern parts of Norway, but also potentially southern Sweden, with wetter than average uh, conditions next week. Down across southern Europe, driving average in large portions of southern Europe, from Spain, Portugal, right way over towards Greece, the Black Sea area, looking a little bit wetter once again, though. And then dry conditions extending up the western, uh, the eastern side of Europe, I should say, into the western part of Russia. Week 3 will be the 17th to the 24th of July. Still looking a little bit on the unsettled side, close to the UK and Ireland. Higher pressure again across these more southern and eastern parts of Europe and in towards Spain, Portugal as well. A hint of a little bit of blocking in the North Atlantic as well, close to Iceland and Greenland, 500 millibar. Heights looks like that. So probably going to be a trough through here again. I would have thought with ridging going on through that area and also into the Atlantic through here as well. Temperature anomalies next week are warming up generally across most parts of Europe. So going a little bit above average for Ireland, the UK, northern parts of, uh, of uh, France. We find Scandinavia, though, actually going back closer to normal while having no signal. Um, Western France, Spain, Western parts of Spain, Portugal, sort of no signal there, maybe a little bit on the cool side. And then anywhere to the east and south of that. Looking uh, generally hotter than average through uh, many, many parts of uh, Europe, actually, in the third week of July. And as far as precipitation is concerned, still hinting at being a little bit on the wet side for the UK, for Ireland, for northern parts of France, possibly to the low countries and Germany as well. Driving average through the southern eastern parts of Europe and possibly a little bit more unsettled across the far north of Scandinavia and into northeastern Europe as well. Week 4 will be the 24th of July to the 31st, and uh, it looks like this. So, higher pressure beginning to reappear over towards Scandinavia, lower pressure generally into France, Spain, Portugal from the Atlantic. 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Hints of uh, higher pressure developing within the northern latitudes here, or above average heights up here, but it's a little bit of ridging down across southern parts of Europe as well. Temperature anomalies look like that. Generally, you're warm and average seen across most parts of Europe from the west over towards the uh, eastern portion. Uh, precipitation anomalies. It's weakening single, but still hints at being wet just to the west and southwest of the UK and Ireland in that, gr in that green area are uh, just there. Okay, that's your 30 day look okay, done, but let's go for weeks five and six data before we go. So, week five will be the 31st of July to the 7th of August. Not much change in this week with high pressure around Greenland. Low pressure into the south of the UK and Ireland into France, Spain and Portugal. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So high pressure back in over Scandinavia, but also towards Greens as well. Probably going to be some troughiness. If I had a word, trophy, trophiness going on through there. I've just made up my own word. And temperature, temperature at night generally looking very warm across most parts of uh, Europe once again. Precipitation anomaly is a little bit wetter than average in the Atlantic, just to the west, southwest, UK, and Ireland. And then lastly, week six will be the 7th, 14th of August. So this week has again some high pressure over on the east and south east side of Europe. Low pressure is in the Atlantic as well. You see how the signal is getting weaker further out we're going though of course 500 millibar height and only showing uh, above average height should be central and eastern parts of europe through there temperature and only generally looks very warm or hot in most parts of europe there and precipitation wise 
looks a bit wet, a bit wetter than average in the Atlantic to the UK island and possibly into France and some parts of Spain. Portugal. General still be unsettled in Northwest Europe, probably driest in the east of Southeast Europe, but it sits on its way and is a very weak signal. Okay, that's your 30 day European outlook for uh, this week. We do it all over again next Tuesday. Remember, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and large pictures of site attacks. So, um, you know, just a snapshot could look different when we look at this one again. Either the next week's like, say, European outlook on Tuesday, but we'll have another look actually with this model at the weekend on Saturday, and that will be with a island and UK focus. Right then, so uh, that's it for the uh, European Outlook for this week. We'll be back a little bit later on. We can take to 14 day. For this week's extended EC European Outlook, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.